My name is Pooja Agarwal. I'm a cognitive scientist. So I've spent about 15 years doing research on learning and memory. Everything from how people remember faces and names or trivia facts like uh, in what city the Baseball Hall of Fame is located, which is Cooperstown, to how students remember material that they're learning in class, whether it's reading passages or argumentation. So retrieval practice is a really simple idea, which is when we get information out of our heads instead of putting it into our heads. So if you think about your very first childhood friend, you probably weren't thinking about them until right this moment. And that feeling we have of going back and thinking about something and sort of bringing it up, that's what scientists call retrieval. And a lot of times for students and for us in everyday life, we're so focused on getting things into our heads. So we reread something over and over, hoping it'll sort of stick in our brains. Um, we constantly rehearse someone's name. So I meet someone new and in my head I keep saying, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. That's kind of trying to get information into our heads as opposed to retrieval is when we get things out of our heads. So retrieval practice is simply practicing retrieval, doing it over and over by getting information out. And we've shown from a lot of research that that simple act of retrieval can boost memory by a lot more than we'd expect, by about 10 to 20%. In research that me and my colleagues conducted in an eighth grade classroom, one example of retrieval practice was to just include three brief two minute quizzes for these eighth grade students. And all we did was compare three quizzes versus the teacher just teaching her normal lesson. And what we found was after, at the end of the chapter, so a few weeks after the quizzes, by the end of the semester and by the end of the school year, there were still significant benefits from just those three quizzes. So that very simple, quick retrieval practice actually raised students' grades from a C to an A. And there's been a lot more research, uh, especially recently, looking at just the simple benefit for older adults, younger adults, children, where it can be less than one minute is just to think and bring information to mind.